Roborock recently reached out to me asking if I'd be interested in comparing their F25RT, which is the entry level model in their F25 lineup, against a Tinko wet and dry vacuum. Now, Tinko is a well established name. They've been doing wet and dry vacuums for a very long time, and I've tested many of their models before. So, naturally, I was curious because when a newer player says, hey, we think we can take on one of the giants, you kind of want to see what happens next. I chose the One S5 as the Tinko competitor in this comparison. Not only is it one of Tinko's best-selling models, it's actually one of the best-selling wet and dry vacuums in general on Amazon. Now, price-wise, the One S5 normally costs about 150 US dollars more than the F25 RT, but Tinko is currently running a promotion that brings it closer to Roborock's price. Incidentally, Roborock is also on promotion right now, which makes it even cheaper. But let's pretend, just for argument's sake, that only the Tinko is on sale and we'll call the price comparable and go from there. And the real question is, what about the features and performance? And yes, before we dive in, this video is sponsored by Roborock. But just to be crystal clear, I picked the Tinko model, Roborock did not get to see the script, they didn't preview the footage, those were one of my conditions for the collaboration. So they're, they're really watching this video at the exact time that you are. So if I end up choosing Roborock as the winner here, it's not because they're the sponsor, it's because the facts pick the winner. And I hope this review clearly shows why. Now let's start with features. And on paper, the Tinko One S5 actually looks like it's more advanced. And it is. It has a multifunction display showing you battery life, cleaning modes, etc. The Roborock F25 RT doesn't. The Tinko also has automatic suction adjustment using sensors to detect how dirty the floor is and ramp up the power when needed. The F25 RT doesn't. It only has two modes, standard and max. The Tinko can also connect to Wi-Fi for app functionality. It's minimal, but, but it's there. And again, the F25 RT skips this. So based on features alone, the Tinko appears to be ahead. But here's the thing. Most of these features don't really matter in daily use. And that is where the Roborock starts pulling ahead and all the areas that actually do matter. First, edge cleaning. The Roborock F25 RT has dual edge cleaning, meaning the brush roll extends all the way to both sides of the head the Tinko only has single edge cleaning on one side. In practice, that makes a noticeable difference. Second point, the F25RT has an anti-hair tangle brush roll, something the Tinko lacks. So if you have long hair or pets, you'll definitely appreciate this. Third, the Roborock has hot air brush drying. And that's a big one for me where you don't have to air dry the brush roll, and rather the machine itself or the base dries it for you after use, which helps prevent mildew and bad odors. The Tinko doesn't have any kind of drying function. Instead, it relies on passive air drying. So you're meant to pop the brush roll onto a side slot at the base to let it air dry, which is less than ideal, especially if you live in an area with high humidity. There's more. The Roborock is about half a kilogram lighter than the Tinko, and you really can feel the difference. Now, both are self-propelled. They don't have self-propelled wheels, but rather make use of the spinning brush roll to help move the unit forward. But the lighter weight of the Roborock, combined with a more maneuverable head that pivots more than the Tinko does, makes it noticeably easier to use. The F25 RT's water tank is also positioned lower. It's along the base which gives it a lower center of gravity. So between that, the weight difference and the head that pivots much more, it's just more agile and less fatiguing to clean with. And there is even more. The Roborock has lay flat capability, so it can lay flat at 180 degrees, which makes it much easier to go under furniture while the Tinko cannot. Which brings us to the cleaning performance. So let's now talk about the cleaning tests. And then that both did quite well and were actually quite comparable in performance. So I did my standard dried coffee stain test. I, I left it out to dry over 12 hours and both machines handled it well. They both removed the coffee stain with no issue, but the Roborock cleaned a bit closer to the edge than the Tinko, as you can see. Then I moved on to the dried ketchup stain, again, left out for 12 hours. And this is a tough stain. Both vacuums took several passes but both got that stain out. The Tinko might have been slightly faster over here, uh, taking a little bit less passes to get it out, 
but not in a very significant way. Next up, on a fresh ketchup stain, both vacuums performed perfectly, no issues at all. And finally, the milk and cereal test, again, both got everything in one pass. So in pure cleaning performance, I'd say both machines are great. The Tinko might have been a bit faster with the dried out ketchup stain, but the Roborock had a slight edge in the edge cleaning, which is also important. And then in the cleaning of the brush roll, both did a good job at cleaning the brush roll. However, again, the Roborock takes an edge because it actually has hot water cleaning of the brush roll. It's technically not hot water, but rather hot air. So as the brush roll is being cleaned with fresh water, hot air is blowing on the brush roll. And one can argue the effectiveness of that versus actual hot water, but either way, it's better to have that than not have any heat while cleaning, as is the case with the Tinko. And in the anti-hair tangle test, that's a no-brainer. The Roborock performed flawlessly. There's absolutely no hair stuck on the brush roll, but the Tinko, as expected, does not have any anti-hair tangling characteristics. So as you can see, the hair got stuck on the brush roll which was not so pleasant to get out. So which one would I pick? Well, to be honest, even if the Tinko and Roborock were exactly the same price, and remember the Tinko actually costs more, and when one is on promotion, there, there's a good chance the other one is on promotion too, which means the Roborock would still be cheaper than the Tinko. But even if they were priced the same, I still go with the Roborock F25RT any day. Actually, even if the Tinko was a bit more expensive than the Roborock, I'd still go for the Roborock. Now that's not to say the Roborock is a perfect machine. It's not. Matter of fact, there are two things I wish the Roborock F25 RT had. First, a battery indicator. I don't really need a fancy screen, but even a simple three bar or five bar LED just to give me a rough sense of charge would have made a good difference. And the second thing, a solid debris filter in the dirty water tank. Some models in the F25 lineup already have this, the F25 RT does not. The Tinko doesn't really have one either, though it does include a small mesh insert that catches some debris, but it, it's far from perfect for it to make any difference. And this comes in handy when you're emptying the dirty water tank to separate the solids from the liquid, so you can dump the solids in your garbage bin and pour the liquid down your sink. But still, these are relatively minor complaints when you consider the overall package. And even without them, I'd still pick the F25 any day. It's lighter, more maneuverable, better at edge cleaning, but also has dual edge cleaning, has anti-hair tangle, can do 180 degree lay flat and go under furniture, and has hot air brush drying. All super useful features. All of which the Tinko lacks. So the Tinko 1S5 might be more advanced, has a nicer screen, app integration, an automatic sensor, it's great. But when you actually start cleaning, Roborock wins where it counts, and it offers a far better value for money. So no, that sponsor did not win this comparison, the better machine did. And for me, in this case, that's the Roborock F25RT 